So go ahead. So you could leave your lights on for as much as you want. Uh, and you'd still be doing better if you like insulate your house or buy a new f fridge um, so, because heating and cooling are the, are the real thing. And then I guess the really important thing is to learn about climate change. <laughs> read about it and read about it from actual scientists. There are tons of scientists with blogs and there's, NASA has a great web site about climate change. Uh, don't just read about it from any old guy who has a blog and a loud mouth because there are plenty of those too, but, but check to make sure you're learning it from people who actually so, know what's going on. So that's a, also some kind of um, disadvantage on the internet is the democratization of information is like we don't have as many filters as... That's right. So it's not only the amelioration of privacy, but... Uh -huh. Yeah, that's right. So it means it's more up to the to the consumer of news to, to exercise the judgment about what, about the source of, of news that they're believing in. Yeah, so you have to, you have to read things critically and it's hard to learn how to do that, of course, because how do you decide who's, who's right and who's wrong? But uh, for me, if I had a choice between reading what some professor of climate science has to say about climate versus what some guy who has a blog about climate who doesn't seem to have any education in the subject uh, says, at least for me, it would be sort of obvious which one might be more likely to know what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> it would be almost like um, you go for a doctor and you had a cancer and then nine, nine out of the ten doctors that you went to said, you got to do this procedure or else, you know, it's terminal, right? Right. And you have that one guy you went to, but he's not a doctor. And it's like, yeah, don't worry about it. You're fine, you're fine. Yeah, that's see. right, exactly. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so not believing what's the nicest. Yeah, so don't... Life isn't always nice. So the guy who's telling you that everything's fine and there's no problem, that doesn't necessarily mean that he's the right gun. Yeah. Those are the main things. So there's four different... Well... How about the difference between, because we're talking about the amelioration of privacy and the dissemination of, um, of information on the internet and how basically because of the, that democratization, uh -huh. um, it's harder to filter real information, right? So highlight the difference between knowledge and intelligence. So how do you, how do you tell the difference between real and fake information? Yes. Uh, according to John B Professor Baez. According to, according to me. Just ask me and I'll tell you. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. <laughs> I will. I'll be glad to tell you. I mean, yeah, no, it's hard to learn how, who to trust. But, um, but basically, I think telling the difference between a loud mouth and someone who knows what they're talking about is uh, it's something you can learn to do. There are people who sound very confident and, and glib. Uh, and persuasive, but they aren't always the ones who really know what they're they're talk they're talking about. The people who know what they're talking about very often they will have published papers <laughs> and journals about that stuff or something like that. Some have evidence that they actually were able to convince experts that they that they know what they're talking about. So you, you can easily find out online about particular people. So if someone has some blog you want to know, you know, what other people think about it. Just Google them and look look for them. If they're famous, they'll be on Wikipedia. And if they're one of these loudmouths who's full of baloney, they'll, they'll probably allude to that politely in the Wikipedia <laughs> article. So it's somewhat controversial. So, I mean, I guess uh, anal <laughs> it would just be a saying, not an analogy that I'd be making. It's like, you prefer your universe loopy, not stringy. So, but don't listen to loopy people. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> listen to them, but take it with a huge grain of salt. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> uh, well, what are the outside activities that you could do? Outside is something that um, you could do as an individual, like to engage like the local community or the local government, like your city, for uh -huh. example. So. Well, yeah, so voting is a great idea. So um, there, right now we're in the middle of this strange problem in the United States where one political party, the Republicans, seems to have sort of taken on as an official position that global warming isn't a, a problem. Um, I don't think you should make your decisions by party line, but you should, you should think about this 
these ecological issues when you when you vote because uh, those are the people who wind up making the decisions and uh, so that's one thing and then more locally yeah in any community there are going to be organizations of people who are work, doing good work Riverside has gotten uh, won a lot of prizes for being like the greenest city in the world because the the mayor here has been really improving lots of things about this city. i noticed i haven't been here in a couple of years and so much has changed yeah there's a booming solar industry in socal by the way folks viewers yeah. Yeah. wherever you are in the yeah. world <laughs> yeah that's, that's right yeah this is the place for that we got the sunshine to, to do that kind of thing so that's good so. yeah so there's lot there's lots of stuff you can there's lots of stuff you can do you can join the azimuth project that's my gang just type azimuth project in into Google and you can find out what we're doing. What That's was what, what was that again, Professor? <laughs> One more time. <laughs> Azimuth, A Z I M U T H, and if you type that and project, you'll you'll. This is mainly for people who have a little bit of a, a technical technical skills or scientific interests. Um, that it's a gang of people who are working on different kind of ways of trying to help the environment. Um, and we. Can, you can join it and then you can chat with us and try to figure out projects and join projects that we're working on. But there are tons of organizations like that. I'm just mentioning that because that's mine. That that one's particularly for the sort of nerdy, science-y yeah, kind yeah, of Yeah, for, for, for all the, sorts of kinds of people. For those that don't know, that's kind of like the Avengers or the Fantastic Four or like <laughs> the blog of academia. So. <laughs> so. Okay. All right. Ciao. Thank you. Yeah.